What's happening, heavies and glamours? This is your host, E.B. Akbar. Welcome to One on One. Hey guys, before the episode starts, please leave a five-star review on Spotify. It helps me out dramatically, just like an Uber driver. I would appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to One on One with EB. I'm here with my very good mates, the winners of the block 2022. That's not how I know them. I know them as fucking those ethnic fuckers. Boys, Omar and Oz from the block, the winners. Congratulations, boys. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Well, thanks for coming down. It's one on Same. two today. Bro, don't. This is like a fucking war zone right <laughs> now, bro. One three. on two. Don't make me call my cousin. Three on one. <laughs> more, like, more like three on one, baby. Let's go. <laughs> How are you, boys? How are you feeling? The win. Congratulations. Fucking amazing, bro. How are you guys feeling at the moment? I don't know. Bro, just, uh, we were stoked that moment it happened, but obviously with what happened afterwards, um, not everyone got a good result, so mm. it was it put a massive damper on hey, our celebrations. Hey, let me just say something. Fuck him. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, <laughs> we, we can't say it, but as long as we've got a brother that can say it, <laughs> it'd be what am I saying right now? Don't worry, boys. You guys don't need to talk right now. Yeah, I'll speak for you. Yeah, so, yeah, right? you is, do what you want. You guys can leave if you want. <laughs> but no, amazing result. Can you, can you read my mind? Of course, I, I can. want to say something, but I can't. Go. You just look at me anytime. I can't believe these dickheads didn't congratulate Fuck me. Fuck out! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just, it's, the, it's the beard connection, bro. The beard Bluetooth. <laughs> oh, how good is that? But oh. yeah, so the, the after effects, I think, sort of made it a little damp for you guys. Because what you guys did in terms of result was you broke fucking history. That's what happened. In 18 seasons, it never had a result like this. How much, like... So the reserve was four million? Four zero eight, yeah. And then you guys sold it for five six 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 six. Bro, that's common, bro. Sixty six cents. If you're gonna launder money, at least do it make it with a realistic number. Have to add that sixty six cents. Yes. Not not only on the block history, on any reality TV we made the most money in Australian history. So there was double history we broke there, mate. That's fucking amazing, bro. You guys came in. In typical fucking ethnic fashion, you broke shit and then you left up. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, man. So that, that must be a, an immense feeling for you guys then. Like, just that feeling of coming in, breaking a record that's been set for 18 seasons and in other reality TV show. Like, how's that feeling for you? Is it, has it sunk in? Are you guys feeling the win? Uh, it sunk in the first time we actually walked in onto the block. We knew we were going to win. Oh, they had no idea what we had on our sleeves and, you know, underdogs throughout the whole season. But on a serious note... Um, Om and I, you know, we didn't only want to jump on the block to build a beautiful home, but to enjoy the experience. Of course. And with the right attitude, we absolutely enjoyed the whole ride. Yes, if we, we, we do it again, 100%. We absolutely love it. Yeah, make another and one. Then, and, then, and, then, and then fuck the rest. <laughs> and then make, make another 1.6 and we out. Yeah, because oh, that's Jesus. fucking amazing. And what I would ask is, like, what made you guys even consider going on? Like, what was like, you just sat around one day, bro, like, fuck it, let's go on the block, let's win and let's fuck off. Like, what, what was it? Bro, I've, I've always watched The Block. Yeah. Yeah, at, at one of my interviews, I said I've never watched it. You yeah. just got to fake it to make it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but on the set, no, nah, but to be honest, I've always wanted to be on. I'm like, why not? You know, Omar's yeah. my very good close mate, my brother. Yeah. Um, so I said, you know, you want to jump on? We've got nothing on at the moment. Let's have a holiday. Yeah, of but course. But it wasn't a holiday, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. It hard three hard. months, man. Far. It was fucking torture. Yeah, it's and full yeah, on. We, we got in. Um, the advice that we got was be who you are and Shayla will love you. Yeah. And that's exactly how we are. And Australia don't love us. Australia hates you. still putting the butts before you question. Us. <laughs> but no, that, that's the thing though, because I've known you boys before you were famous. You know what I mean? So don't yeah. ever fucking forget me, all right? Don't you motherfucker split that money with me. <laughs> Who's <bro>. this? <laughs> <laughs> but your personality came out exactly how you guys are in real life, came out on the show as well. The fact that you guys didn't talk bad about anyone didn't say anything that would put you in a bad situation. You guys came with that right attitude and you won it. And I think a big factor is the attitude that you guys had because I'm sure they would have tried to get into you guys a little bit as well with the whole production, I'm assuming. Is that right? Yeah, 100%. I mean, reality TV, um, they want to make sure, well, they want to try break you, right? Mm. So um, the more they do that, the more TV they get out of it, the bigger the ratings. But um, with us too, we didn't need that. Um, we felt like we were good enough. We were. Yeah. Um, we had a great time. We were funny enough yeah. to have a good time and actually grab those ratings regardless. And 
I feel like the performances that we put in week in, week out, um, yeah. some of those rooms were fucking amazing. Looking back, like you, you came through the I house came before the, house, the auction. Bro, yeah. And some of those... I'm um, still waiting for the check that you guys are going to give me to yeah, come yeah, to the yeah, house. Yeah, bro, send the invoice yeah. first. Send, <laughs> not to us. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, so week in, week out, we were killing it. Yeah. And um, I feel as though, uh, not to our surprise, we knew we were going to do really well but to a lot of people's surprise. And I think that's what made it more interesting. That's what made the show more interesting. And then mm. we um, didn't stop to auction day. What a buzz, bro. Because you, you, you guys won a lot of the challenges as well, didn't you? Like the bathroom challenges, you guys. We, we, we won our most bathrooms. Yeah, we won all bathrooms, but we did lose a lot of rooms due to our PowerPoint that House One had a lot. Oh. Um, so in, in, in saying that, we probably would have won we seven well. out of, out of well. the 12. Fucking but we hell. sat on three out of 12. But we did fantastic. We, yeah, we did well. We, we knew from week one, fuck, these guys are underdogs. Step back. So you guys were the underdogs going in? Yeah. It, uh, you know, usually there's not many people where like two mates just come on the show. Yeah. A show like this. Yeah. Um, they feel as though we're probably lacking style and design and all of that. Yeah. But, look um, at you, bro. But I fucking Reebok everywhere, bro. Fuck, you guys are Prada, looking sharp. Reebok. I'll tell you that. Money hasn't changed you, but fuck, it's... Doing good, <laughs> brother. <laughs> so, so, so she said. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> no, you're right. That's all right. So, so what I would say then, excuse the hand. Don't worry about the hand. For you guys, what was your mentality like with the rooms? Because I know with the judging and stuff, sometimes they were telling you the direction you guys are going in is the wrong direction. What made you guys think, nah, this is definitely what we're going to do? Did you have? Did you guys have that in your mind from the start exactly how you wanted it or was it go with the flow situation obviously go with the flow situation but before we jumped on we had a style mm. but the block is you know by far the being the biggest this season mm. you have to build rooms not to your personal liking yeah. you have to adapt straight away to the judges feedback you know okay. we got smashed in the two-day challenge and we were like whoa you know, Omar, what do we do? Yeah. Like, you know what? Let's take a refresh, step back, see what we want. And then the following week, we want it. Second week, we want it. So it's just about to adapt and go with the flow. But when you go into a room, it's very simple. The functionality, the execution on getting the room to the best you can and then come to style it, yeah. it's literally just salt bay, baby. You know, <laughs> bang, just like that. You know what I'm saying, baby? Ooh. Well, but look, I'm fucking proud of you boys big time because what you've done for like the ethnic community in itself, walking in with the beards you guys have, and then coming out victorious oh, is fucking amazing. Sorry to interrupt. But yes, go, brother, go. I've got the beard. He doesn't. Bro, look, what do you mean, he's, he's bro? Give him, a, give him half an hour, it'll grow, bro. He's actually losing a bit of hair. He's stressed out. Look On the way here, he was stressing bro, out. What are you guys talking about, bro? Oh. Give him some of your fucking, bro. Oh, I know no, it took you, no, no, it took no, you one hour no, to grow that beard, now, bro. Okay. Sorry, guys. Tell now I see, I, I see what's going on. Yeah. Afghans against Slebo here, bro. It's all <laughs> we got it. It, it is bro, what it is. Do you want to <laughs> just get us water or something? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, no. I think I think going into a competition like this, you've got to have very competitive nature. And I can tell you guys that, I can tell everyone watching and listening, you guys are very competitive. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you how I know. The other day, I messaged Omar, and I'm oh, sorry, Oz, and I'm like, hey, bro, get, get ready for Saturday. The podcast is happening. You know what he said to me? You get ready you for get Saturday. Ready, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> belittling you, get ready. Like, who are you telling me to get ready? <laughs> then what happened to the last person that told me, get ready? <laughs> I sat there and I'm like, am I a contestant on the block? Like, what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> what the fuck did I say to this guy? Welcome to the podcast, two on one. <laughs> <laughs> is it usually Change always it. two is on one? Is it always two on one or is it one on one? It's usually one on one, bro, but you two fucking <laughs> just rocked up. You into it, bro. <laughs> Yeah, you have to fucking uh, ruin everything, bro. Sorry, bro. So fucking, so now I think what I'd ask you guys is, ha, can, have you guys felt the popularity and the fame and everything that comes with this show and how are you guys handling that? Because uh, it's, it's a shock, bro. From going one minute, you're doing your building and stuff. You're playing rugby. Yeah. To an extent, you already feel that. But now with this media attention, with all this being on TV, prime time, how, does, how is this feeling for you now? I think um, values is important. Mm. Um, before we were famous, we loved, we loved giving people our time. No matter who you are, we don't yeah. care. We don't, okay. um, we don't discriminate. So if someone was out there to have a chat with us, we'll be more than willing to. And I think going in with that same attitude after the block, because honestly, a lot of people do watch the block and yeah, a lot bro. of people are noticing us on the streets. So um, to go in with that, knowing that these guys are just like us um, yeah. and we give them the time back, it's actually, it's actually cool. You uh, meet some very, very interesting people and you learn a lot too. 
Yes. And with, with us actually enjoying the ride yeah. and meeting people, we enjoy it. Whereas if we didn't enjoy the ride, faked and act what we did on it'll site, be different it'll ball be game. a different ball game if you yeah. get what I'm trying to say. So, so far, so good. Because you, know, you guys, yeah, your guys' it. personalities in, in general is very like social guys, you know? Because mm. we met in Sydney that time where we were doing drugs. I mean, Shh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> cut. <laughs> no. No, joking, joking. But yeah, from the start, I could tell you guys had that personality, that bubbly personality to get into TV. So it's fucking worked out to your advantage to some extent now as well. And what I would say then is because you guys have got such big personalities, and I don't think the block is enough to con- like for one thing. So do you guys have any plans to do anything else? Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm annoyed. Oh, I, is this uncut version? Or? This is brother everything, bro. You're you going to sh- release a Pornhub video, bro. Now's the time <laughs> Casting couch. <laughs> Car- Why do you think we got it this <laughs> way, boys? You better, better open those legs, boys. Don't think <laughs> that, <laughs> Take those skins off. <laughs> off bro. They're not going to fucking work here, bro. No, no, no. Oz, Oz and Oma is a brand now, so we really want to showcase our talent to the rest of Australia, possibly the world. So yeah. whatever comes our way, we'll definitely take it on. Now, this is something that we like to do. We like to... You know, be social, put a smile on people's faces and just enjoy what we do. And if we could make money like that, then let it be, bro. 100%, bro. So, and I, I think you guys should. Right now, people have seen the way that you guys are. So why not capitalize on that and enjoy the ride even longer? Do something else with other reality TV shows. And I guess you guys have got such a strong connection as well. These producers and stuff can't really infiltrate how you guys are, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. You fucking hope not, unless you guys are in it for the business deal now. I don't know about that. But as long as you guys stick together the way you guys are, I think it will be successful no matter like, what you do. Like what Hezbollah says, business is business. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to be uploaded to like a private fucking Lebo group. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the episode so far. Please make sure to subscribe and follow us on whatever platform you're tuning in on. All right, so let's address the bigger stuff then. So the controversy following the auction and everything. How are you guys handling all that? Uh, you know what, we didn't expect anything less yeah. after the auction. Uh, we knew we had done really well, and the fact that not everyone else did well, we knew there was going to be something coming out of it. Uh, in regards to the dummy bidder stuff, obviously we, we knew it was fake, and the people that actually um, probably don't take like a little step back towards it would know it's fake as mm. well. And uh, yeah, well, they, like, did, like they just ran the story, no, it's like hard. And, and just sorry to cut you guys mm. off, because. That Shut the fuck up. But <laughs> nah. for, those, for those people that don't know what happened, that don't know, could you guys just quickly explain what happened? So there was this allegations of that there was a dummy bidder involved, right? Yeah. Allegations. Yeah. Um, so we actually did really, really well in our auction. Yeah. Um, we had one of the guys come and bid for us um, and he actually wanted the house. We showed him the house when yeah. you came and that was yes, the first exactly. time we actually did. And I saw him there as well. Yeah, and that, that was actually the first time we had ever met him as well. Um, he wanted the house and uh, the day after they said he was just there to dummy bid against um, Danny Wallace, which was mm. another guy that's probably bought about 10 block houses. That's what everyone is saying, but I can tell you guys, I was there as well and I saw it doesn't have much footing that another... Lebanese looking man is saying, nah, bro, like, believe these guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I was there. Doesn't hold much, yeah, man. Don't yeah, worry, the, forget the, it. The media, if anything's going to spin this worse, three people involved. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I would say. So just that they, they spin it no matter how. And, and like I said, so how are you guys feeling about that at the moment then? So it goes, it goes back to the question you asked before and mm. the answer. I'll add to Omer. It, like, we, 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 we expected it. You mm. know, expect unexpected throughout the whole season. That's exactly how we were. Due to challenges we win, due to challenges we got robbed, to things that didn't come our way, we knew. So what we had to do is take compose, take a step back and just keep charging forward. But the only time I look down on him is helping him up and vice versa. Mm. And that's what we had throughout the whole season is he had mine, I had his back. And we, we knew. You know, we won, but our joy from, you know, winning, going into the room and then waiting for House 1 to come with their results was just down from there and that's mm. it who's the winners anymore we forgot who is the winners yeah exactly so that straight away they took that away from us but you know it's not it's not on their hands but it is what it is what can yeah. we do but that's the thing that, that's the thing that i don't like about this whole situation and look for you guys it's been an experience and everything but from an outside perspective if someone else with blonde hair and blue eyes had fucking won it the media would be up and about Aussie, 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 oi 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 do you know what i mean <laughs> but for you guys coming into it with a different background different 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 approach to it straight away there's you guys are winners but and that's what we were talking about before as well i think that's where it sort of like leaves a little taint but 
it's annoying, but like, what can you do about it? Do you know what I mean? That's going to be part of the thing. And that's why it's up to people like you guys and everyone else, like me or whoever else it is, to create a new pathway for those people that want to do good. Of course. And, and they're trying to do something similar to what you guys are doing. So what would you guys have to say to anyone else that is in your position? Uh, we came on the show for that reason. Uh, we knew that there was a lot of people out there that um, probably didn't think Australia deserved to be multicultural. Mm. Um, we probably, we, if you go to the normal person, we're not Australians. Mm. Um, but for someone like Oz, he's generational Australian. Like he's born here. Were you born here, Oz? I was born here, yeah. Was I? <laughs> Were you no, born yeah. in Melbourne? My mum born here, I'm born here. Oh, no Kids way. Born here. Yeah, yeah, so he's like second wait, wait, generation. Wait, maybe I should back up. How old are you guys? I'm 30. <laughs> he's 30 as well. 31. Fuck. Born here. And your mum was born here as well? Yeah, bro. Yeah, so you're second generation? Yeah. yeah. You fucking Aussie, bro. So Aussie, he's not, Aussie, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why my name is Oz. <laughs> <laughs> you really got in the spirit. How bad do you want your family's oh, visas to be approved? <laughs> But, nah, wow. but that's what I mean. We came on the show to kind of change people's opinion of what well, this two wogs are like. And yeah. I think we did do that. There's a lot of support, so much support a for lot. us, like from all different cultures. And we've absolutely loved it. But you also get that minority that probably um, don't understand it just yet. And that's probably where all the Daily Mail just, articles came just, from. Just mm -hmm. imagine the responsibility. When we got the OK to jump on, we were excited. But then, yes. Who are we representing? Mm. Who are we standing for? It's a big, it's a big um, responsibility going big on to word. the most watched Australian show in Australia. There hasn't been anyone, like any Lebos, anyone in the show. Well, no there. Muslims. No the Muslims first, ever. First Muslims ever. So that was well. a big one as is. And then um, obviously Lebanese, Afghan. Yeah. Um, there's a lot that comes with it. And yeah, we, we, um, we felt, uh, we didn't feel it to that extent but there was times where we felt like we were a little bit hard done by mm. um no es course. especially um obviously with the part where um they were mentioning the dodgy stuff and we had to address it on set mm. um because people still un don't understand that using certain stereotypes can actually affect people so you had to actually address all that stuff on set as well 100 percent. So yeah. on we, the we block we were so patient until up to week eight, was it, Omar? I think hall, just after hallway week. Just, yeah. uh, that was around and week in eight. total, those twelve weeks, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. And it was enough. Like things yeah. were said, actions were, were were shown to us, and I thought, Omar, I take a passion in my building. Of Omar course. Takes a passion in whatever it is, and then to to be questioned by foreman saying that you know you're covering problems over problems. Well, come on, man. You haven't even given me the chance to rectify the problem. Yeah. How could you possibly be standing there looking at me, telling me I'm covering problems? So do they come in saying you guys are causing issues? issues this is dodgy guys and i've the dodginess and you're like you know what stuff that next day we're like hey bro we want to talk to you guys and we addressed all our concerns good bro so did, did they show that only on, on yeah TV? they actually yeah. did, yeah. So, did for channel nine to actually show it and that's good on, on them. a platform yes. like that yeah but they picked us for that main reason 100%. as much as they would have got amazing ratings from it mm. um at the end of the day they um they did pick us for that reason they yeah. wanted diversity this year and we definitely so gave you guys them were high to meet quota yeah, we had to be. <laughs> he's sick, cunts, and he's won. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck, did we what? <laughs> so it's been fucking, it's been a journey. It's Massive. been a big journey. Like, you guys wouldn't Massive have thought journey, starting up, it would be at 12 weeks later, it'd be at this point. You know what I mean? Like, you guys knew you'd win. That's the attitude we always have, I think, towards life. Yeah. Whatever we do, we want to do it to 110%. That's yeah. the way that we've been raised, I think. But not like this. But not like this, bro. Do you know what I mean? Not like yeah. for them turning around. Look, everything is a blessing in disguise as well. This yeah. is supposed to happen in a way to could create other opportunities, do other things as well. But fucking headache, bro. Ibi, I'll say it one more time. It was tough. Yeah, man. Like, tested us to the most highest in physical and mental. Bro, it was tough. And yeah. what we seen was, wow, guys. Yeah, because and you guys are physically you guys are thinking like you've played rugby right yeah it's not the physical stuff like the, yeah the sleepless nights and shit do hurt yeah. but it's more just what you have to do day in day out like tv is crazy yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're fit Cameras. i mean you're fit you played rugby but then it stops at me don't yeah that's all, that's all i, wanted to say. I told you i've <laughs> unity bro <laughs> but it's, 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 uh, the physicality part of it is not the issue it's yeah. more the mental it's the stress but how, how can it be like i want to understand yeah because mentally we've been through a lot of shit. trying to get a room done week in week out that's the stressful Ibi. part yeah, can true. you get a bathroom done in seven days no. brother come to my bathroom bro I'm, i don't want to say but pretty sure the shit stains on the wall <laughs> I can't do my own so well, you know what we'll start Monday and we're gonna come on Sunday we're gonna see your finished bathroom <laughs> <laughs> definitely give you a tools down bro <laughs> so that so it's the pressure aspect then yeah the pressure the pressure's is fucking hard bro yeah because going from building a whole room yeah it's pretty it wasn't hard it was challenging 
Let's let's articulate mm. it in a better way. Yeah. Nothing was hard for us, but it was hey, challenging, very challenging. Did you hear that? Articulate. Who is this guy? That's a big bro. word. What the fuck, have fame changed. <laughs> but after the blue tick, baby. A R T. Spell it. Articulate. <laughs> he doesn't even. You know, he. That's why he's been on his watch. He's been searching fucking like big words. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It came out good though. It sounded good. Yeah, yeah. Fucking oath, it did. It's the twelve weeks. Yeah, that's a massive thing. But you know what it is. Like you, then you sit down and be like, you know what, the show's not over. Yes. We go home, right? Yeah. For a little bit because yeah. we get that little break while it starts airing on TV. Mm. And then that's when you really sit down and be like, fuck, no one cares about those twelve weeks. Yeah, you don't bro. get anything out of it. The main thing's the auction. Yeah. And then you start stressing about it, uh, stressing out about that. You start calling your agent. You start calling people to come and look at the house. And you don't stop, why, man. That's why Om and I never stopped. Yeah. Yeah. So we you guys straight there. after networked. Maybe <laughs> straight away. Friends, you know, we good. We, we good. Yeah, bro. We like to give people our time. Yeah. Like give us your time. 100%. And that's exactly what. And people were saying, dumber, bitter. It wasn't dumber. dumber but can I just say one thing? All right. Guys. Worst case scenario, it was a dummy bitter. Let's just say, I know it's not, but yeah. let's just say it is. How the fuck in 18 seasons has no one had a dummy bidder, bro? Like, that's I what I'm saying. I think it's illegal, man. Oh, is it? Yeah, they, it's they have, um, two <laughs> uh, And on that note, <laughs> they just cut this section out. Let's just go back. Wow, <laughs> huh? 12 we, weeks. <laughs> go back to it. Who do we have on set on auction that you got two offices that stand next to you? And yeah, yeah, yeah. There's what, a lot. What's the title? What's the title? Oh, uh, fuck. God, I forgot. Oh, so I know it's full on, about. like, full yeah. on, bro. That back database, like, who you are, your background, how many money you've got if you are a legit bidder. Well, then, bro, that, that's the answer in itself, then. But 100%, but do the audience know? So that's yeah. that's what you need. You need someone just to really explain to them. I get what they're coming from, but yeah. guys. It's hard to look behind is, the colour, yeah, man. Oh, look, bro, the controversy is a controversy. You got the win. And that, above all else, is the main thing. The win is what we, what you guys went for. I like I always say, we, like I'm part of the fucking yeah, Oz we, and Oman. We killed you. You are part of the <laughs> <it. laughs> But one. you got the win, and that's the main thing. And that's that's what you went for. That's what you got. So, boys, I'm fucking proud of you for that. What I want to know is, like, for f for those people that may want to do it in future, the block, what's the interview process? Like, how do you guys, you apply and then that's it? Fill up application. So I filled up my section. Omar sent me all his, filled up his section. Then we did a five-minute video. Just yeah. us being us. Are you going to release a video? Bro, yeah. Do you want, do you want the video? It was, yeah, have it's you a got funny it? video, bro. Just you two talking. You won't get yeah, it on yeah. prime time. Bro, bro, it is funny video, bro. Like, really? It's like no cuts, no nothing. You're like accidental was there. Me didn't even know how to fucking put an English word together. Look at me <laughs> now. Articulate. Look how far he's down. come now, oh, bro. Yeah. He's come, come from, away, from, bro. Nothing, from nothing to articulate. Nah, so <laughs> we, just, we just filled it out. Got the call. Recall after recall after recall. Hey, guys, congratulations. He's made it. Yeah, they do home exactly visits. They do everything, everything, man. Full interviews. Bit intrusive, bro. Coming it home. Is. It was a long four, five months. Police bro. checks. Wait, wait, wait. What did you say? <laughs> Police <laughs> checks. <laughs> everything. So then how'd you get on? Oh, <laughs> dummy. We did a dummy. <laughs> we did a dummy. No, day, you know his name was an Oz before this. <laughs> it was Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> Muslim surname Islam. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to know then, now that you guys have done it, experienced it, is there anything that you guys would go back and change? at all uh, not, not because of the result man honestly the auction result uh you there's no point changing anything uh no no put the put the result on the side not one bit mm. i'm telling you now it'd be bro like us being very competitive no one we bit. do wish we had more times on weeks but that's something that's out of yeah, our control that's out of our control what we've done not one yeah. bit we mm. did the best we can week in week out every yeah. second of the day 100 percent. but bro. we pushed ourselves bro like you're talking about five days two hours sleep saturdays no sleep just to get a room done at 9 a.m sunday yeah. Oh, bro. How so did we get it is. done? We believed in it. So yeah. We got it and done, you bro. did, bro. The, the proof's in the pudding, bro. You know yeah. I mean? The house See? is cracker. Yeah, I, I saw the house. Do you That's know what mad. I, mean? I wanted to bring my family and then somehow claim an insurance claim some shit and get the house off you, bro. Yeah, but you should have. It didn't work, you know? It didn't work. Is that why you're falling over? <laughs> yes, ah. okay. It has your hand, by the way. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It's you come copped good. It. Yeah. So like, you, you hit it with the shower screen? Yeah. Poof. And then oh, I obviously the auction was mad. So I know you did that on purpose. Four in one in the bathroom almost. <laughs> <laughs> so then, okay so then that was bad bro. like i come back to the question earlier as well then so do you have guys have anything in your horizon now like what do you guys want to do another reality tv show your own show maybe yeah um like i said we are brand now so we want to showcase that but in uh, my building pers uh, perspective i bro, that's that's gonna go skyrocket so i'll get someone oh, to yeah, control true. that but we want to do something together so a lot of charity work um, and 100%, maybe Amazing Race, 
um, not Love Island, cut that. Um, <laughs> you can't but, really do that, bro. But you know how it is. If yeah. Whatever comes our way, man, we're hungry. I think yeah. Amazing Race for you guys would be fucking perfect, bro. Personality for it, everything, bro. Uh, Want to be crazy, run around the world? He doesn't look. Omar's already fucking against him, bro. No, I'm just looking, thinking, what's the easiest way to get around it at Amazing Race? <laughs> bro, He's just call our like cousins, bro. <laughs> just get a fucking AMG and drop you around everywhere. Uh, Omer, to if do. it's in the Middle East, we're set. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta add to this. Um, what made us like, you know, on the block was so stressful, right? and times you would be so down. And I'm always there, always trying to hype up the boys. Yeah. I come with nice, I talk, yeah, boys, and like, fuck, look at this guy. And then Omar's down, I'm down. I'm like, fuck, what do we do? I'm like, hey, boys. So we have all our trades sitting down. I'm like, hey, boys, you want to see something funny? So it's just us, but we're getting recorded with all the cams in the house. Well, you want to see something funny? I'm like, I'm mic'd up, right? Oh, fuck, Omar, what are you doing, bro? If the producers see this, we are fucked. <laughs> I'm like, boys, sit down and wait. Five minutes, they all come down. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I'm like, he needs to go. <laughs> Just make sure he's getting paid right. <laughs> oh, Fuck, bro. you guys would have had a fucking laugh once, huh? Because you, your mates, your brothers, enjoying yeah, it did, together. Did, That's yeah. fucking amazing experience, yeah, man. Is, I'm fucking happy for you, boys, honestly, bro. And yeah. for, to hear, like, to see the success you guys have had so far and where you guys will be going as well honestly nothing but the best for you guys bro i'm very fucking happy the way you guys have gone and inshallah it's only up from here even more bro like i said all this controversy everything that's happened it's happened for a reason bro 100 percent. and now that you guys are where you are that's the main thing and we only go up from here let's inshallah. go inshallah god look at you baby. guys bro look at you fucking so proud of you i could cry let's right go, now bro fucking one second this one second came religious bro Watch what this mashallah is, bro. <laughs> mashallah <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> boys thank you for coming down thanks I appreciate for it us, bro thank you legends inshallah we're did you learn anything now. new words nothing brother honestly i feel like i've gone stupid now <laughs> <laughs> fuck me dead Actually, we uh, might not even air this episode, bro. Why don't you fucking cut the whole thing? <laughs> no, don't cut. Just put it the way it is, man. That's what people want to see. Do right? you guys find the scenes, you guys? Nah. Yeah, they're, like, <laughs> they're like, fuck. Get the fuck up. Fuck, fuck off this couch. <laughs> <laughs> Sick cunt, boys. Thank Love you. you. Thank, Thank you, Evie. Thanks for having us, mate. Next time on One on One. Joe, Carlo and Andrew. Welcome to One on One with Evie. When are you guys going to say <laughs> the money is there? Like, we've done it. We've made it. Fucking hey, enough, boys. Hey, man. Right, man. What kind of fucking question is that? <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking about our I'm financials, friend, man. <laughs> so are you telling them to join a bikey gang? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Have the backing of a bikey community? Comancheros are hiring right now. <laughs> Put it out there and the world will let you know very quickly if it's good or not. Yeah, exactly. And right. if it's no good... Yeah. Try something else. Yeah, exactly. Try Thank again. And worst case scenario, OnlyFans is always there. <laughs> <laughs>